So hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to be using the Sketchbook app to practice and play with something called radial symmetry to prepare for our project that is going to use radial symmetry. We're gonna use Sketchbook in this case because we can set up radial symmetry with a few settings, which I'm gonna walk you through. And then we can play around and we can see big changes in terms of shape and line and contrast um, quickly than if, more quickly than if we just use like paper and pencil. So to do this, I'm gonna ask you to make sure you have your Sketchbook app downloaded. You can go to the App Store or you can go to Self Service. And we're gonna start a new composition, 500 pixels by 500 pixels. We're gonna set up radial symmetry together and then we're gonna play around and talk about some big ideas and concepts. So first things first, go into Sketchbook and then down at the bottom, I'm gonna move this up a little. Down at the bottom, you're gonna see a plus sign. I want you to click on the plus sign and click on new sketch at the top. And then we need to change our pixels down here. There are some presets, but none of them are gonna work for us today. We need to change the actual number. Before you do that, make sure that this little link icon is broken or open or unlinked, right? So I click that here. If it's linked, if I change this, let me cross that out. And if I put in 550, it's gonna change this one down here. If I unlink that, I can change this and this won't change. All right, so unlinked, then put in 500, and over here put in 500, and hit create, and you should get a new square composition. If you've never used Sketchbook before, this might be a little overwhelming. Maybe you wanna go back and watch some videos that we've made on Sketchbook, but just a quick you know, orientation. This is your canvas, this is what you're gonna draw on. These are your tools on the side. We're gonna use the technical pen here, looks like that. And you have one slider for your opacity, which is gonna go all the way up to 100, and one slider for your size. You can see all the way up top is a big line, and all the way at the bottom is a skinny line. You wanna choose something around there, maybe a little bit bigger so we can see it. So prep your pen which again is the technical pen. You're gonna see on the right, we have our layers. If you want a new layer, you're gonna click that plus sign, but we're gonna work on one layer right now. This is your puck. It shows you your color, right? You can change your color. I'm gonna stick with black. And up top are all the other settings where we'll find radial symmetry. So take a moment to orient yourself. If you wanna pause this video and make sure that everything's in order for you, that's quite fine. Um, I'm gonna keep going though. For our next step, we need to set up the radial symmetry. Now, I wanna point out that I took a screenshot of this and I circled it, although it's a little hard to see in this printout. I'm gonna walk you through it. Essentially, we are clicking on the symmetry button up here. We are clicking on the radial option. We're making eight sections and we're locking it. So have that little cheat sheet nearby. And up top, we have this um, symbol here. It's like a dotted line with two wavy lines that are mirrored. That's the symmetry button. So if I click on that, sometimes it opens that up. I was having trouble with that earlier, hold on. If I click here, thank you. That is our symmetry button, it opens this up. I already have it set up, but yours might look something like this when you get it, or maybe that. So this one here is our vertical symmetry. It's called the Y, I think. Yep, the Y. If I go on this side, it'll do the same thing on the other. That's symmetry vertically. If I undo and unclick and click the next one, this is our X symmetry. Same thing, right? Bottom and top in this case. I'm gonna go back. If I unclick that and I click this one next to it, this one is like an X and it's got like wavy lines going around. That is our radial symmetry. So this right here, the sections are five. If I start to draw, it'll do in all five sections. If I put it up to 16, it's a smaller piece of the pie, but that looks pretty cool too. All right. I want you to set this to eight. So we have eight sections. This is how we're gonna fold our paper later. We're gonna have eight different sections here for us to work in. All right, so symmetry button. This one here is make it radial and make eight sections. If you wanna pause here and set that up, 
That's a good idea. Now, we don't want to move this around. If I put my pointer here and I take this, I can move this around. If this is over here, if I start drawing, I'm only gonna see part of the other sections, right? So if you've accidentally moved this already, or if you're drawing and you're trying to get really close and then all of a sudden, like you hit this and you move it off, it's gonna be off, right? So my advice to you, if that happens, is to double tap, not like that. Double tap right in the middle of that circle. It'll throw it right in the middle, make sure it's going through those points and you should be okay. Now let's lock it. You see that little padlock right there? Go ahead and lock and then you can't move it anymore. You'll just start drawing, right? So something to think about. If you hit this little eyeball on the side, it'll hide the symmetry lines, but you'll still be able to draw with it. So just keep that in mind. I like to see them because it shows me the boundary. Okay. The last thing I want to make um, a point of is this symbol right here. Right now I have it set as stop stroke at the center line. So if I'm working in this one and I come over to the next, it's not going to let me draw into the next section. If I unclick that and it says extend the strokes, it'll keep going into the next one. All right. I suggest having it at stop strokes. All right, so take a minute, look at your cheat sheet if you're in my classroom, look at this here, pause the video, and make sure you have it set up as radial, eight sections, and locked, and so it has a stop stroke. All right, so now I just want you to play. I want you to have a good time. I want you to see what's possible and see what your limitations are. I suggest you use the technical pen because it creates one line at a time. And I want you to see what happens when you do that and you create a little circle, right? A little smaller. I want you to see what happens when you have your shape um, on an edge and it is like half of the shape it will be repeated. And then if I'm working only in this section, I can complete that shape here and it'll start to be repeated all over. I want you to make note of what happens when I create one shape inside one triangle. Try and work in only one triangle at a time. If I create one shape there, it's going to be repeated around. All right? See what happens when you get towards the edge. Right? See how some of it you can't see in some other sections? Like that edge is higher. See what happens when you start to color areas in and what that might look like. Play around with texture. Play around with contrast, right? If you want something to stand out, you might want to think about coloring some areas in. Then when you are happy with that or you want to try a different composition, say you didn't like something you did, you can always erase or you can start a new layer and then there's a little eyeball in the corner. You can turn that one off and all of a sudden, if you're on this layer, you can start a whole nother composition, right? So maybe you want to do something like this. Maybe you want to have some more weird shapes. I don't know. Play around, see what happens, right? What you're thinking about is how those shapes are interacting. When we go to make ours on paper, we are gonna color them in. So if you wanted to go over to a color and play around with that too, and just think about, okay, what happens if this is orange, you know, and just play with that for now. This is a place for you to just mess around and see what's possible, right? Play around. When you get bored of that one, start another composition on top, another layer. Try this, turn the extend or the stop strokes, turn that on to extend and see what the differences are, right? Because then you can start to draw a little bit more organically, a little bit quicker, whoops, right? But it's gonna change how you feel about it. So play around, see what happens. This is all in preparation for our piece that we're actually gonna do on 
um, paper. But now's a good chance to practice. Start another composition and just play. Maybe see what happens when you write some words. Like if I wrote the word art, right? Now in ours, it's gonna flip it a little bit, but think about bubble letters. I can zoom in on this too, right? If I do this, some bubble letters quickly. Oops. Right, look at how that design starts to take place. If you wanna play around with different symmetry, we can turn off the um, radial symmetry. You can think about what it might look like, like this to play around. Right, and how it flips. I like how that's connecting. So maybe for my T, I'm gonna do something like this. That's more interesting, right? That concept can be used, if I turn this off and this back on, that concept can be used here instead of flipping it like this around, we could flip it this way. I don't know, something to think about, right? Whoops, but again, make sure that you are becoming comfortable with what happens when you create a shape inside this triangle here, right? Versus when you create a shape on the edge and how you're gonna see half. And then on this side, you will see another part of it, right? Play around, see what's comfortable for you, what you like, right? Have fun, and I can't wait to see some of your compositions. Let me know if you need any help. And uh, yeah, we'll pick up on paper in a day or two.